1941, a date which will live in the note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on the These quotes met their mind. We have declared the war in Vietnam. But we don't plan to surrender either. We are going to win. the portions and would lead to World War III. Allied air forces began an attack on military targets. Besides, that in the 21st century that America... March 5th, 2052, the United States has officially closed. The United States will go ahead with a national quarantine. The new plague virus disaster sweep loose the state of the collapse of Union nations. changes. It was the inevitable result of the path humanity had chosen. Everyone who entered into the conflict expected victory. Everyone was optimistic. But as the hostilities escalated, optimism faded, and society began to collapse. The great vaults were built to house the wealthy, the powerful, the influential, and those deemed necessary to their survival. Inside, resources and technology were stockpiled, a final defense against the coming Holocaust. With the past behind them and the present destroyed, they looked to the future. The sturdy Vault Zero was to be the nucleus of the Vault Network, housing the greatest leaders, artists, and scientists. The inhabitants of Vault Zero were to reunite the vaults and lead the people to a new life, a new world. But after the bombs, the world would be a harsh one. To ensure the creation of a post-nuclear utopia, the vault dwellers would need help. Machinery was constructed to tame a land hardened by the ravages of war, then tempered by nuclear winter. But plans were barely in place when the first missiles left the silos. During the destruction, communication between the vaults ceased. Entire vaults were lost. 
those that survived were on their own. Not all vaults succumbed to the machinations of war. On North America's west coast, one group of military vault dwellers emerged almost unscathed. They surveyed the wasteland and squared their shoulders for the task ahead. These dedicated survivors salvaged the technology from the vaults, technology that was studied, replicated, and fiercely guarded. For they knew that while their power came from numbers, their future lay in scientific knowledge. In time, they formed the Brotherhood of Steel. The Brotherhood used their knowledge to drive back the atrocities of the wasteland, proclaiming themselves the technological saviors of mankind. They scoured the land in search of more technology, raiding mutant camps, bandit towns, and the broken remains of other vaults. But even they could not keep pace with the high tolls demanded by life in the wasteland. The Brotherhood found themselves at odds with their need for new blood versus their code of technological secrecy. The debate was lengthy. Finally, the elders ruled against sharing the technology with outsiders, convinced that they would endure as they had before. Further discussion was discouraged and the elders ordered the minority on a mission across the wastes. Super mutants, the foot soldiers of a conquered army, had been forced into a retreat across the mountainous barrier to the east. The Brotherhood constructed airships and dispatched the minority to track down and assess the extent of the remaining super mutant threat. But disaster struck while crossing the Great Mountains. A great storm gripped the main airship and flung it far from its course. The mighty ship was badly damaged. The smaller sections were torn from the main craft, never to be seen again. Many of the expedition's leaders were lost to the winds. The fraction of the crew that still survived struggled to keep their ship aloft before finally crashing on the outskirts of a once thriving metropolis, a city once called Chicago. Broken, scattered, and scarred, they took stock of the situation and once again squared their shoulders to the task ahead. The Brotherhood had much to offer the surrounding villages. They traded advanced medicines in exchange for food and labor. They traded protection from bandits in exchange for new recruits. In time, their ranks began to swell. Separated by distance and ideology from the main Brotherhood forces, the minority was free to forge a new Brotherhood of Steel, one that reflected the ideals they had strived for all along. However, one's future in the wasteland is never certain, for an old power has awakened, also bent on making this land its own. Life in the Brotherhood is about to change. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Play Fallout Tactics. I am stoked to bring my coverage of this game to the masses of the internet. I was really huge into this game all throughout my high school years. Uh, this game came out just before I graduated from high school. Uh, I played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, loved them. They were easily easily in my top 10, possibly maybe even my most favorite uh, games of all time, and Tactics pretty much summed it up perfectly. It pretty much stripped away a whole lot of the story and the, uh, the um, role-playing aspect of the game just focus a lot on combat you play as some Brotherhood of Steel guys you go out on missions and uh, there is a story there's a very good story uh, but this game is much more centered centered on combat and uh, managing a squad of people um, so we'll explain more about how the game works as we play it first we're gonna create a character I always create a, uh, a custom guy we're gonna go and do uh, the same character that I made all throughout um, my years in high school. We're gonna make a uh, dark brown, I guess black hair, yeah, black hair guy, and his name is going to be Ron, based after the uh, character in the Gaunt's Ghost Warhammer 40k novels. So just because of years and years of experience, we're gonna go with small guns, first aid, and what should we boost from the beginning? 
go with lockpick. Maybe not sneak. Boost is sneak. Strength. We're not too worried about that. Uh, that will actually strength does factor into how much uh, stuff you can carry. Carry. So we'll put a point in strength, point in a perception. Endurance affects your hit points and your resistances to stuff. Just two points into endurance, and do a point into agility. That affects uh, your action points, your armor class, um, and a couple other things. Endurance, I might drop a point down just to give him some intelligence. Yeah, let's do that. Make him a well rounded character. Traits, we'll go ahead and um, we'll do. Attack, show a lot of finesse. You don't do as much damage, but you cause more crits. Not too worried about that. We'll do skilled. I'll gain five more additional skill points every time you level up. There it goes. And... Four guns, so that you can't aim, but it costs less action points to shoot. Good natured. Your combat skills start at a lower level, but first aid, doctor, and barter are substantially improved. What happened? How far down do do they go? Ugh. Okay. Heavy handed, you swing harder, not better. Your attacks are very brutal, but like finesse, you rarely cause a critical. Uh, let's go with fast metabolism. You're less, you're more resistant, uh, or you're less resistant to radiation and poison, but your body heals faster. Mm. Uh, bloody mess gets a little bit out of hand sometimes. <laughs> Gifted. Uh, your primary stick is reach at plus one, but you lose ten percent on all skills. Uh, that's fine. I can go with that. Wow. Okay. So that's going to be Ron, and uh, he's going to be the leader of my Brotherhood of Steel team. Ten, huh? All right, you mutated redneck, green skin, sex of irradiated flesh. Listen up. I am Paladin Rytek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. The elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, ramen kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit, like a Brotherhood soldier. First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll go to the surrounding villages and see what able-bodied primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best and brightest for brotherhood training. Now get your weak need, superstitious, soft-skinned, uneducated punch to the armory. You'll be issued basic weapons and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. And one final thing, lady. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. It's so my name is General Barnicky. I will be giving you your orders before ever mission. But before that, That's I'd Arlie like Ermey. to personally welcome you aboard. Considering that the Brotherhood basic training attrition rate is 85%, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, on to business. All the years I played this game, I never ago, knew that Raiders was the gunny. Two invaded the resource-rich tribal village of Brahminwood. Their losses have been heavy, and they are now ready to accept the Brotherhood's conditions for protection. 
We will return their lands and rescue these primitive people in exchange for food and a portion of their older children for new recruits. We must expand our ranks to meet our objectives, which makes every village count. I don't know what is driving the raiders this close to our base of operations, but they have been punishing the surrounding area. Brahmin Wood is one of many villages that is now occupied by raiders. The inhabitants that did not escape have been slain or imprisoned. Make no mistake, Initiate, they have killed a fair amount of our brothers. Do not underestimate them. You will take your squad to Brahmin Wood, locate and eliminate the leader of the group of raiders. Once he is removed, his followers will surely fall into disarray. You will then use the Brotherhood's superior might and intellect to butcher the remaining criminals. This is a standard assault mission, so consult the map in your Pip-Boy for the latest intelligence on the area. One more thing, warrior. You must ensure that the village elder survives. He is the key to our plans for this town. According to the local tribal custom, he alone deals with outsiders. Without him, we can have no agreement with the rest of the tribe. Dismiss! Ah, uh, sir. That's so cool. All the years... Oh my god, what is up with Bandicam? Seeing that? I hope you're not seeing that. Oh my god. Let me pause the video here and see if I can figure that out. Alright, so we're testing it out now without the frames per second overlay for Bandicam to see if it works. I'm going to pause the video again and take a look. Alright, looks like that worked. So, anyways, back to the action. We've been sent here to this uh, little bandit town to uh, investigate some... Uh, there we go. I was trying to find the button um, that uh, brought all this up. But yeah, here's our insert. That's our extraction point. Oh, it's our extraction point and our insertion point. We're gonna have to uh, ports indicate this area is lightly patrolled. So we gotta move our way in. It looks like through here. I mean, you know, I'm acting like I haven't played this a million times. Um, but yeah, essentially move through here, get into the bandit compound, and kill the bandit leader. To do that, we have Ron. He's got a submachine gun and a knife. We have Farsight, our sniper. She has a rifle and a 9mm handgun. And then Stitch, our medic. Um, well, he's our medic. Greetings to the Brotherhood of Steel. You are speaking with Charon, elder and tribal father to Brahmin Wood. You have arrived none too soon. Our village has fallen to raiders who rode out of the darkness. Some of my people escaped death or bondage by fleeing into the wasteland. But without tools and shelter. This must be the doing of the Brahmin god of fate. With the bandits we trade away our present. In the brotherhood we trade away our future. Why do you see it like Very that? Well I fully agree to your terms. But I fear this decision will haunt me till I reach the eternal <laughs> grazing field in the heavens. Our villages are being held prisoner in the camp. Save them and you will have more people to aid your cause. Lose them, and you will be cutting Brahmin from your own herd. But my objective is really to only, only to eliminate the bandit leader. Alright, so we have eyes on enemies here. We got some raiders up there. And I know there's going to be raiders over here because I played this game more, more times than uh, one man really should. So we're going to move Farsight over to there. Ron's going to rush up. Stitch is going to rush up. I'm going to put Farsight on defensive. Actually, everybody is going to go on defensive. Basically meaning that uh, they will not fire unless fired. Pawn. Stitch, where the hell are you? I'm on Stitch. I need you up here. Oh, dear. Accidentally hitting Stitch, I think, but that's all right. Nothing to take on the dog. <laughs> Always check the bodies. That is one thing that I cannot stress enough. Always check the bodies. Stupid. <sighs> Come on. Damn it. This first mission, um... You guys have, like, no skills, so... It's uh 
they might accidentally shoot each other a whole bunch of times, but it's it's all right. It happens. All right, far side. I'm gonna rush her over to here. Why wasn't she firing back? Oh, you set the accuracy threshold. There we go. <clears throat> All the years I've played this game, I did not know that you could actually set the accuracy threshold for their Overwatch. So, it goes to show you, you learn something new every day. <clears throat> Go on, crouch. Jesus. Got him. Alright, sorry for the silence there. I had to. F this game does take a little bit of a learning curve to get back into the swing of. Now, Stitch, you moron. This way. Alright, the key should be in there. Open the chest. Rifle ammo, stem pack, key. Didn't Ron just unlock the door? Oh, Stitch is blocking the way. Jesus, that was a little sloppy. <clears throat> it keeps going back in the single fire mode, and I do not know why. Really starting to get on my nerves. Nice oh, shot. Finding some stim packs. Always useful. Nothing else really in that room to check, it looks like. So I'm still having difficulties. It doesn't seem like they're. They're, t they're uh, opening fire fast enough. Is it still set him for 66? Yeah, it doesn't seem like they're opening fire fast enough or uh, it's surely not accurate enough. Doesn't look like there's anybody out here. That's. Well, that bandit was out here, so. I thought there was more than one guy, though. Far so I'm just gonna check that bookshelf. Raw and stitch, put them back on sentry mode. Some healing powder. And some voodoo. No! Wrong button. Thank did I wake anybody up? No. Okay. Coming up here, there's a nice little stealth ambush that's uh really fun. <coughs> Wait till they're all in position. And turn them to aggressive. Come on, Ron. You had one job. What the fuck? Well, that was just plain old freaking stupid. That's like one of the coolest and easiest spots in the whole damn game, and somehow Ron managed to fuck it up. So we're gonna try this again, and hopefully pray that we don't get ourselves killed somehow. All right, countdown to extinction in three, two, one. Why is that guy not dead? 
Jesus, that was so sloppy. Maybe it's because I guess everybody's everybody's points aren't up high enough in in their skills and stuff. I don't. Maybe that's it. I don't. I don't know. Guns reloaded. Get Ron healed. She has good small gun skills. He is okay. So all their stats are okay. I don't see why. I don't see what what uh, could be making them so horrible right now. But anyways, pressing on. Don't kill the cows. Now, in this hut right here is where what's left of the villagers is being, uh, they're being held hostage in here. Uh, so, this is going to be a tricky situation. we got to make sure we take them out. Not the hostages, but the, the, uh, the guys holding them hostage. Does Stitch have a gun? A handgun? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to try and sneak up here as quickly as we can. We're already detected. That's fantastic. Now's a good time to save the game. Okay, still detected. Still detected. Cows are scared. Alright, we're in. It's like there's one raider. Two raiders and the rest are all hostages. Can we take them out without killing the hostages? That's the question. They got us hit a hostage. Ron's taking hits. This took a big hit. No, do not switch to your shotgun, for the love of God. Still can't get a shot on him. Got him. Okay. That was sloppy as hell, but we managed to take the guy out without killing any of these freaking hostages. Not saying we didn't actually shoot any of them. I'm pretty sure a couple of them got grazed in the crossfire there. But I promise you, this game is much more uh, smooth and cinematic than uh, than what we've been uh, seeing so far. There's a couple of corpses in the corner there. I'm not sure what that's all about, but that's uh, it's a little concerning. <laughs> Okay, secondary objective has been completed. Oh, shit! Far side, you better go out there. Nice. Tagging him as he went to go run off. I got some tools over here. Lockpick kit? Yep, taking that. All this will be worth something once we get back to base. Something's detecting detecting them. Don't know what it is. About to find out. 66% chance he's point blank, man. He's point blank. What is? Do you have anything that you have mentats that'll uh, boost your your perception and, and intelligence? I think, but nothing that'll really help me aim better. And same tactic as before. Ron and Stitch are going to ghost their way up there. While Farsight cannot sneak. Whatever. Farsight's going to hang back and uh, essentially pop this guy, grabbing his attention, and then I'm gonna wait for him to fire. And once once he opens fire, Stitch and Ron will jump up and. Um, mow him down, pretty much. Nice! <laughs> Stitch catching, or uh, Ron catching uh, a, a bit of the spray from Stitch's shotgun, but uh, other than that, not bad. Get the first one in, make sure there's nobody else in here. Okay. Clear the raider's body. Ooh. Lots of fun toys. I think I'm going to put a shotgun on him too, because he's just not accurate in anything he's doing. So at least with a shotgun, I can kind of... It kind of will... Oh, more. Booze. Yeah, but at least with a shotgun, he'll... Um, accuracy won't be so much of a thing.
head through this, uh, what I'm assuming used to be a basketball court or something. Head over here. Can't sneak. Don't die! Oh, for the love of God. Jesus. Stitch. You're really starting to worry me. That's alright, same plan as before. Farsight's gonna cover them, and they're gonna advance across this uh, open area here. It's like Farsight's already. Nope, never mind. Jig is up. So much blood. That was almost a disaster. Again, Stitch almost dying there. Sorry for the uh, lack of commentary. That, that I didn't know what was going to happen to my my poor poor medic here. Come on, get in there. There we go. Ron finally doing something. <sighs> Come on. Now we're gonna have to. Uh, spread around the ammo here. Well, Ron's got himself a rifle now. Let's do that since Ron is getting to be a little bit dangerous with that shotgun. Alright, healing up. Healing up Ron and now healing up himself with that doctor kit. Bandage now. Alright. So we'll give the shotgun shells to Stitch because we don't need those. We'll give 100 of these to Farsight because she needs ammo. Get those around. Then all the uh, extra stuff that we don't uh, we don't need, like ammo, extra weapons, things like that, we're gonna give to Ron as well, because Ron's gonna be our pack mule, and uh, he's gonna be the one that's gonna be bartering everything back at base. Oh, there's a crate over here. Doctor's kit, bullets, and hand grenades. That's gonna come in handy. Right over there too. There's a high point up here. Let's go ahead and send Farsight up there. Let's keep our handgun out in case. Well, no, we'll go with the rifle. There is. The, I. I thought. I. Oh man. Don't die. Oh, thank God. I remember vaguely that there was uh, somebody up here from like my previous uh, instances playing this game but I wasn't sure if that was just me hallucinating or not and sure enough there's a freaking sniper up there Let's see what he's got in the box just impact shotgun shells more rifle ammunition what is that is that 7.6 yep 7.62 alright so we'll go ahead and put her on aggressive Stitches back to sneaking. Come on, trying to lure that guy out. Damn it. 
damn, really? <laughs> like, he didn't even see me? I was right in front of him. Far side opening fire. Ron getting some shots on 50, 52% accuracy here. That's a good, that's good, that's a step up from where we just came from. Cannot sneak. Stitch, better drop that dog. Get out of there, Stitch. Farsight needs to come down here, Stitch, is, uh, Stitch needs back up. Oh, damn, somebody stepping in the back there. Ron dropping him quick. Farsight still engaging that guy. There we go, Ron taking that guy down. Stitch is still having issues, or uh, Farsight still having issues engaging that guy. Stitch really. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Jesus, you, you try to get these get these guys directions to go somewhere, and uh, they always path through the very, just the worst possible road that, or route that they can they can take to get there. Like you know, straight in front of enemy fire. And that was one of the things about this game that was a little uh, hard to deal with was the uh, the pathing system. At times, it seemed like you were pretty much fighting the game uh, just as much as you were or was the enemy so that's that's something to think about as well but nevertheless this game is still a classic alright put them back on sentry mode and you guys move out we're getting close to the uh, bandit leader compound that's it right there far side we'll go out this way so we'll just ditch happy just has we don't have another rifle for Stitch, do we? Yes, we do. Oh! Jesus, where the hell did that guy come from? Ambushing Ron there. Ron's lucky uh, he didn't pay the ultimate price. I did not even... We walked right past that guy. That, uh... That uh, perception skill, need to start thinking about putting points into that. <laughs> Dropping one guy, putting shots on others. Ron, I gotta start crawling, rolling up here to give her some backup. Stitch, I'm going to do him on a wide flank around the uh, the whole building here. There's the bandits on the inside. He caught eyes on the leader there for a second. Boom! <laughs> Alright, yeah, it looks like they took out that last raider. So the outside, outside guards have been dealt with. Pick the corpse of this guy. Pick the corpse of that guy. Move far side up. More shotgun shells and shotguns. I got a club. Awesome. Make sure everybody's reloaded. I think it was Ron. Yep, Ron's got the hand grenades. Those are gonna come in handy. Cannot sneak. There he goes. Farsight and Stitch and Ron are going to go on defensive mode or sentry mode or whatever it's called. Let's go ahead and peek these corners. And before I do that, I better save this game because there is no auto save. This is a 2001 era game, guys, so you better make sure you save your games. Well, looky here. Oh dear. I don't recall giving out invites to Brotherhood of Steel Dogs. I bet my boss will give me all the promotion and props I need after I bring him some Brotherhood slaves. Let's see what you trained monkeys can show little old Horace. Okay. Of 
Parsons got to get out of there. Stitch is going to need that shotgun back out. Damn. Two shots, really? Get far side, another stem pack. Ron's going to need some drugs, so let's, uh, what's this? Afterburner gum. Energy and strength, don't need that. This is voodoo. Greater agility. Don't necessarily need that. Excellent. Ronald's got to get in there. Where's the fuck all the stuff? There they are. I, uh, oh, looks like I we got them. You may have underestimated your abilities. I'll wipe that grin off your face. Your brotherhood is no different from us. <gasps> We both take what we want from these savages. If you think your cause is any more selfless than ours, you're sadly mistaken. Okay, well... Throw it anyways, Ron. No, what do you- don't crawl out in the frickin' open! completed the objectives for this mission. Proceed to the exit grid to leave this mission. Okay, well, there's still... Stop crawling, Ron! There we go. Okay, sloppy just like every other engagement <laughs> this in this uh, first mission, but at least everybody's dead on the enemy side. Picking up some guns and ammo from, th from there. Let's go loot this corpse as well. Everybody can stand up now. Once they give you the all clear there, like how uh, the gunny did at the end, there's pretty much nobody, uh, no enemies left on the map, I, I, I believe. I might be wrong in that assumption. <laughs> it's a damn shame, though. I was really looking forward to using my uh, my hand grenades. <laughs> I was going to blow that guy to pieces. But yeah, I had some difficulty in this mission getting used to the controls and getting used to more or less the AI than anything else. I had a hell of a time get in my guys to pretty much go where I wanted them to go. Um, locked. Alright, well, we'll just lockpick it with my 14% lockpick skill. Yeah, I bet it does look difficult. Alright. Farsight, can you do it? Oh wait, wrong got it! Oh, it's just two stim packs, that's all there was? Jeez. Well, it looks like Ron's leveled up. So we can put some points into his small gun skill. We'll have to... First aid, maybe we'll put some, bring it up to 50. I like nice round numbers. Science will be a 40%. Pilot, 20%. Barter, we gotta put points in the barter because we're about to go back to town and sell the hell out of stuff. Lockpick, because you just did so well. Farsight leveled as well, it looks like. So I'll go ahead and put some points into her rifle skill, because that's what she's good for. First aid, put two points into that. Sneak, we're going to need her to be sneaky. And eh, why not? Traps. And we'll just do one more point in small guns. The stitch level as well? Yes, he did. Stitch leveled. Oh, he, get, he can get the perk. Experience, uh, bonus hand-to-hand -hand damage, don't need that. Brown Nozer, you've learned the value of sucking up to your superiors. You get one extra promotion for each level of this perk. That's not bad. Comprehension, you gain 50% more points when reading books. 50% like, uh... Here and now, you gain, an, you gain another level immediately. That's nice, but, uh... Swift Learner is what I'm looking at. As you level, you gain an additional 5% bonus to whatever experience to or, uh, to experience points earned. Uh, so that's really, really critical to take early on. Put some points into his small guns. Doctor. 
first aid. I'm gonna work on his sneaking as well. He wasn't very sneaky this time around. Oh, he's more sneaky than Ron. I gotta give him credit for that. Some repair. And then do you have yep, two points in outdoors just to make that an even thirty. Cool, so everybody's leveled up. We are on all now chocked full of loot. Time to head back to base and uh see what we can get for it all. There should be a door somewhere. Is that it there? Yes it is. I wonder if you have a high enough lockpick skill if you can just lockpick that door from the from the beginning and uh just go straight in. I doubt it, but that'll be that'll be funny. So let's move these guys back down here. Let's talk to the village elder, tell him that all of his people are safe, and that the Brotherhood of Steel is here to stay, bringing safety and prosperity to the uncivilized masses of the wasteland. I'm sorry if you can hear the TV in the background. <laughs> Your grace in battle is wondrous to behold, Initiate. The death screams of the bandits reminded me of angels singing. <laughs> they will think twice before attacking this village again. Initiate. You defended my people as fiercely as a death claw protects her cubs. Please accept this ancient gift from us. You are now considered family in my humble village. And of course, all the recruits will be delivered to your base as agreed. So now he's uh well done. You so have our thanks. So he's real eager to to have us uh what did he give us? A detonator? Is that what he just gave us? That's cool. I don't have any explosives for it, but that's cool. I appreciate it. Alright, mission accomplished. Go ahead and uh, head over here to the extraction zone. The the elder who previously uh, couldn't stand us now loves us. So that's always good. Winning hearts and minds. Which is, uh, you know, good, I guess. <laughs> mission complete, warrior. You have dealt with the raiders without hesitation and without mercy. Well done. Every defeat we hand them lessens their numbers and increases our realm of influence. The primitives you saved will be thankful and fearful of the Brotherhood in the future. This is important since the village must learn to live by our strict rules and thus be free. <laughs> I have to admit it's been a while since an initiate performed so solidly in his first mission. Well, thank you. The fact that your actions prevented the loss of a single primitive's life speaks volumes of your ability. <laughs> to show their respect, they renamed their Brahmin stud after you. Oh. The Brotherhood, however, will look favorably on you for your next review. You're dismissed. Ah, uh, sir. Thank you, sir. So now what? Okay. So we gotta head back to Bunker Alpha. I forgot about this, the the, uh, the travel map. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anything. <laughs> Alright, back at the bunker. Alright, this is the bunker. This is the hangar. This is where uh, everybody uh, comes and hangs out. This is where we store our vehicles and everything like that. Uh, I don't know where in the hell the supply room is. I think that's it over here. This is where we're going to go barter, sell all of the loot that we got, and um, hopefully get some better equipment for uh, for my team here. Let's go in here, sell some stuff, see what we can get. Quartermaster, how you doing, hey, sir? Warrior. I'm Octavius. I oversee your equipment. You will sign for all equipment issued. You will not leave until I am satisfied with your full compliance to regulations. Is that understood? Good. Now that you know the drill, let's get down to business. <laughs> Oops. Back again, are we? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're gonna sell... Those... That, 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 that. Uh... No. I want two of those back. Or no, I want one of those back. Damn it. There we go. Uh, those stupid ass submachine gun. That, that, those, that. Don't need this key. Shotgun, the club, food, the alcohol, the Nuka Cola, the clipboard. Getting a lot of money. <laughs> it's powder, we don't need any of that shit. More alcohol, don't need that. 
So he's gonna give us a good bit of caps. Or is that money? They, okay, they use actual script in this game. Okay. Cool. So we got a bunch of money for that. We're gonna look at armor. Which is... That's only... Okay. Small guns. Basically everything I just sold him. Big guns. Nothing. Energy weapons. Nothing. Traps. Thrown weapons. We do have more hand grenades. Cindinary grenade. That's what we have. A, oh, we have those now. Right, so we'll think about those in the future. Kits. Books. Do we have any books? No. Kits. No, I don't need any more of those. We'll pick them up as we go along. So really, I just made a bunch of money. There's really nothing to buy. Um. Fists, but I'm not a. I don't play unarmed characters. Some of the melee weapons get pretty fun, like this uh, cattle prod there. <laughs> Landmines are always great for nice little ambushes. Yeah, we'll take some landmines. Oh, those are expensive. We will not take some landmines. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Crutes master. Pick up another crew. Welcome, crude. warrior. I am the personnel yeoman for the Brotherhood. If you want to put together a squad, you talk. She's an initiate. He is a senior initiate. Do we want to take on another initiate? Do we have room? Yeah, I guess we can build a full squad now. I don't really have. I just sold all my supplies. So. You know, there's some more senior initiates. Kevin likes to get up close and personal. Don't need an up close and personal guy. SMGs, shotguns, sniper rifle, ice, <laughs> warrior spirit. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think we need another initiate right now. We're doing. I mean, we'll see what the next mission is before we decide if we're gonna recruit uh, another member of our squad here. Down here is the medical bay. We can go look at some medical supplies. We don't we don't really need any though. We have a ton of medical supplies as it is. A bunch of stem packs. Stitch has like 19. Farsight's got 16. Ron's got 16. And a bunch of chemicals on them. So don't necessarily need any more drugs right now. At ease, warrior. We've underestimated the tenacity of these raiders. Shortly after your victory, the bandits have managed to kidnap the village elders. Oh, shit. This is no doubt an attempt to break the spirit of Brahminwood while they're still suffering from their recent losses. Fortunately, one of our informants within the raider camp has located the tribal father. It appears that the raiders are holding him on the outskirts of the broken town of Freeport in a medium-sized encampment. Your mission is to journey to Freeport, rescue the elder, and get out. Our informant should still be in the area, and he can be identified by the red armor he wears. So you should be able to distinguish him from the other raiders. But remember, while the informant is paid handsomely for his services, he is not a brother of steel and will not stand by your side if matters get complicated. Gotcha. Gather your squad. You are to depart as soon as possible. Dismiss. So it's rescue mission. I don't only I don't like only having three people as lightly armed and armored as we are. So we're gonna have to develop some tactics to make use of our numbers. I don't want to blow the money I just earned um, outfitting a new squad member. So I just sold all my stuff. So I don't want to you know waste all my money. Um, you know, getting a guy up to spec, so we're gonna go at it with just three of us. But that will have to wait for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a like down below if you liked it, comment and all that junk, and I will see you when I see you. Take care.